we will not talk about demodulatory thing in am signal so in general an am signal forgive my bad drawing so in general an am signal looks like this time and this is s2 and from this st want to recover mp the modulating signal which in this case mp is directly visible as the fine so mt is the key visible as the m so now how do we do this so we have we construct this circuit so we construct this so first of all let's pass this through this half wave rectifier fine so so this is a half wave rectifier all of us know this and once we pass this signal through a half wave rectifier Actually, what I get is this nothing. This 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 this. this. So. hope you get the idea that uh, once we pass this through the half wave rectifier we simply get the positive half or uh, if i use the two available so what i get is So if I choose only the positive half cycle, or if I get only the positive half cycle, I'll basically get this. So this, and from this, I want to get the envelope back. how do i do that the answer is simple that uh, let's consider rc circuit with so let's consider an rc circuit so let's call the signal xt for time to time being and right 
So I believe you heard the thunder clap outside. Anyway. So. Next. Okay. Now let's say uh, considering the case where RIC is much smaller than 1 over FC. Or RIC is much greater than 1 over FC. So that the capacitor charges We'll use the blue bank to track the charge of the capacitor. So the char capacitor charges quickly. So we see that the capacitor charges quickly to this. Fine. Now, also, so the capacitor charges quickly to this point, and uh, now once the capacitor charges, the carrier signal decays to zero. So it will now start to discharge. So capacitor after coming to this point starts to discharge, but its discharge or the time which it takes to discharge. time discharge time constant discharge time constant is given by tau d let me call it tau d and it is equal to tau d equals r not c not fine so if this discharge time constant is large enough or r not c not is much smaller yeah. r not c not is much larger than 1 over fc then the capacitor will discharge slowly and therefore, if the capacitor discharges slowly, you will get a signal that follows this. So earlier, the capacitor had to discharge charge up fast. So this time constant should be much smaller than 1 over Fc. Sorry about that. Yeah. So now if the time constant is much larger than Fc, then the capacitor discharges slowly. And uh, you get this. Now this and this. Now by the time it reaches this point, the next uh, wave comes in, so it gets charged. Then again, discharges slowly, charges, discharges slowly, charges, so on. So it can, this approximation can kind of track the envelope, but obviously you have to also take care that R not C not is much smaller than the bandwidth or uh, if R not C not is not smaller than the bandwidth you will charge to this point but then before anything can happen you will say stuck here so you won't be able to make out much so so in order to accurately track, track the channel the condition that you should have is R not C not less than and this entire circuit ST RIT 
I diode this is called an This is called an envelope detector because it detects the envelope of an AM signal and this works only for new small or the modulation index smaller than one. Yeah. So, this is the description of AMD modulation. We'll stop here.